Hey loves, I'm here with your weekly forecast for the week starting December 12th. So thanks so much for joining. It's an interesting week. It's pretty dreamy. We start out Monday, December 12th at 1111 AM mountain time with the sun in Sagittarius forming a gently supportive aspect to Saturn in Aquarius. This aspect with our emotions ruled by the playful moon and Leo looking to support the charismatic wounded healer Chiron is going to help us in putting energy into play and adventure. That's the best way really to stay disciplined about your habits, right? When you're able to play and make things playful, that's how science happens. That's the scientific method. But if you can make things fun, that's really how you can endure in the long run. Also with this energy, you might feel like you want to celebrate your hard work or have a holiday party with coworkers, loved ones, or maybe even do something fun for the elderly. That could be a really great way to use this energy. Uh, so you might want to spend time with older folks or help with a party in an assisted living community, for example. And on a societal level, this aspect asks us to think about how can we keep our energy and zest for life as we age and how can we make aging more fun? Then later that day, which is about 10.51 p.m. mountain time, the moon goes void, of course, which means it's not working. Uh, it's kind of that energy of like, all right, let's call it a day. So on Tuesday, there aren't really many aspects in the sky, which means just tie up loose ends with anyone or anything that's demanding attention, which might just mean putting things aside and going to your child's holiday recital performance, or maybe watching them rehearse it, giving them a really big round of applause. Or if you don't have kids or, you know, other kids in your life that you could do that for, maybe just put on a comedy special, have a good laugh take it easy, practice your holiday carols, just have a, a good time and keep it fun, but not too much pressure at the same time. Then on, uh, so that was, let's see, that was Tuesday. On Wednesday at 1.45 a.m. Mountain Time, we're going to see the moon entering the sign of Virgo. And this is energy where you're going to want to clean and tidy up but the only thing to tidy up with this energy is our mind today, because the next aspect that we have is the sun making a challenging squaring off energy with watery Neptune. And the sun's in fun Sagittarius and Neptune is in dreamy Pisces. And so we get this like hot burning off energy of the sun sort of burning off that watery dew on the on the grass kind of. And so whatever's been foggy, whatever that dew has been where like you couldn't see the blade of grass so clearly, that is starting to burn off with the energy of the sun. It's also energy that feels like, what have you been holding your breath about? What do you need to come up for air on? The sun square Neptune is a great time to rest and seek clarity. We may have been a little too optimistic, hopeful, or di idealistic about something, and we get clarity on the story we were telling ourselves. If it was a beautiful dream, keep the dream alive. But And also, practice non-attachment to the who and the when and the what, right? So, And when I say what, I mean, you should hold on to the feeling, you should hold on to the dream, but be very open to how it happens. Because once we let go, then we can let the universe do its work. Be in the moment, just be. I encourage you to do something to invite in the energy of what the ideal is in your life and feel into it. Go out in nature, listen, feel the sun, be by water or touch the snow if it's snowing by you. Appreciate nature, talk to the trees, Ask for what you need and just go with the flow. Do you need more peace? Do you need more happiness? Do you need more clarity? Do you need reassurance? And how can you find that within yourself instead of seeking it outside yourself? Remember that rest is productive. I will say this a lot. I will say it whenever necessary because we have too many, a bombardment of messages out there 
in the ethos, in the zeitgeist that says otherwise. So I'm here to remind you whenever I possibly can, take a nap, take a day off, rest is productive. Um, so on a collective level, we can ask ourselves where the wool has been pulled over our eyes in the way that we're supposed to be or what we hope would happen with some kind of outcome like the elections or at our companies where we work or with our families or with people we know in our relationships. So what kind of promises are not being honored? If you could rethink and dream a new reality for your work life or your life in general or just your work, what would it look like? How many days off would you get and give? If you are like me and you live in the United States or maybe a similar country or just a place where this is coming up for you, look to how other countries operate and honor the sacred times of rest through vacation and their leave policies. Why don't we do that? In our country, why don't you do that in your company? How can we change it? This is not a time for action. It is, though, a time for dreaming, imagining, and tapping into the collective unconscious. Action will come later. So no worries. Rest is productive. Dreaming is productive. Thinking about new ways of being is productive. And it is an action unto itself. So make sure you're reminding yourself of that. Then later on the 14th, around 10.22 p.m. Mountain Time, we have our cognitive faculties, so our thinking, our communication ruled by Mercury, who's in the hardworking sign of Capricorn. And I'll just say Capricorn also is the type of sign where this person is really serious when they're younger and when they're older, it's like they're younger, right? So it's like getting, it's the Benjamin Button type of thing. <laughs> it's like we get young as we get older and, and vice versa. So uh, Mercury, who's about communication, about our thoughts, about our plans, is squaring off with Chiron. So it's working at cross purposes with Chiron, who is the charismatic wounded healer. And this energy can be about cognitive dissonance or our foot in our mouth. Like what I said, I was really trying to be helpful, but it doesn't land as helpful or um, what you heard isn't really helpful, but it's trying to be helpful. Or I thought I expressed my needs, but it wasn't landing the way that I anticipated it landing. And so the best way to use this energy is to use your voice to communicate your healing and your pain or if it's appropriate, other people's healing and pain, or putting energy into listening and seeking solutions. If you're in the healing professions or you wish to be, what's coming up for you right now that feels like you're getting stronger in or have an opportunity to strengthen your skills and strengthen your muscles in? What problems are people having that they're coming to you to solve? So you can put out a survey and ask people what they're struggling with right now. You can use this information during the upcoming Mercury retrograde that will happen at the end of December, the very end of the year and carry over until January 18th of 2023 um, to research, test, and plan out how you can respond to this need by March when our healer, our teacher, Jupiter, meets up with this charismatic wounded healer Chiron, and then you can show up as the healer or the teacher that we all need. Thursday and Friday, again, not much going on. We do have a third quarter moon in Virgo, which I'll get to. It's Keith Richards energy. <laughs> I'll just dingle that carrot for you to come back next time to see what I have to say about Keith Richards. Um, and uh, so not much is going on. However, by the time we get to Friday, I think that it will feel like we can finally use that moon in Virgo to pick ourselves up and start tidying up, taking action, actually cleaning your house, organizing your files, staying busy, and knowing that sometimes staying busy is helpful. Sometimes it's distracting and it distracts us from the work that we actually need to do, but when we have this kind of a week, I think staying busy helps us to get out of our head and feeling like we're in a good place to have fun and make some spontaneous plans over the weekend. 
So that's all for this week. Join me again next week. Click the subscribe bell so you're notified of my new videos. Like and comment to let me know what you think, what's coming up for you this week, and what are you hoping to see from me, right? I said you guys should put out a survey. I'd love to survey you all. What would you like to see from me? Uh, what can I do differently? What would you like to see more of? Let me know in the comments, please. Uh, or go to my website, send me an email. Uh, what else do we have? It really, it does help me if you can like and subscribe so that I know what you like and what you don't. And it also helps other people to find my channel. So it's much appreciated. But before I go, I want to let you know of a few opportunities to connect with me. You can get a video of your 2023 year ahead horoscopes for your sun or rising sign or your moon sign or get all 12 signs and a general year ahead forecast from me at Taylor Schuler. That's T-A-Y-L-O-R-S-H-U-L-E-R.com slash shop. There is no C in Schuler. Uh, it's still in pre-order and will be delivered in the next two weeks or so, but before New Year's. So once it comes out of pre-order, the price will go up. I recommend pre-ordering now for that reason. I also offer private one-on-one -on -one astrology consultations that you can book with me through my website, taylorshuler.com slash offerings. And I was, I'm really like thrilled and excited to announce that I was recently added to Astrology Hub's new Astrologer Connect platform. You can also get a reading with me and about 20 other wonderful top astrologers through that platform. That is astrologyhub.com. Uh, slash 2023 Taylor. If you go there, I think you can still sign up to get a recording of the 2023 forecast that aired on December uh, 10th and also receive my horoscope for Capricorn for 2023 by email later this week. This is completely free. It was a free forecast event with uh, about five or six top astrologers on a panel and you will get 12 horoscopes from 12 different phenomenal top astrologers, including myself, which I'm so excited to say, <laughs> which sounds weird coming out of my mouth, but um, uh, very humbling. And uh, I'm just thrilled. In order to book a reading with me through uh, Astrology Hub, you can go to astrologyhub.com slash astrologer connect, or just Google astrologer connect and me and the other astrologers will come up. It's an absolute dream come true for me. So definitely follow Astrology Hub and there'll be more from me on that. On January 7th, I'll be teaching in Synchronicity University's January Speaker Series on Saturn's transit through Pisces that starts next year and how to use this transit to turn your daydreams into reality. You'll get a sign-by-sign -sign rundown. If you sign up before December 31st at synchronicityuniversity.com, you can pay as little as $5 $5 per class in January, including mine. There's also going to be Wade Caves, Christine Skinner, um, Alice Sparkly Cat, whose work, I, I, these folks, I absolutely adore their work. I, they have been my teachers in various capacities. Um, also just want to give a shout out to Alice Sparkly Cat's book. I was just looking for it. Post-Colonial Astrology, Game Changer, absolutely. Um, so a wonderful speaker series. I will be teaching January 7th. Uh, I'd love to see you there. So it's a really great deal. If you sign up soon, there's also going to be a really special surprise from me. Uh, if you follow me, Nadia Shaw and Synchronicity University coming up in the next week or so, I don't want to spoil it. So I'm not going to give you too much, but follow us and you will hear about it as soon as the cat is out of the bag. You can sign up for my newsletter at taylorshuler.com. Just scroll down once you get to the website. You don't have to scroll too far. And you'll even get a free PDF from me on how to use the planets ethically to make the world a better place. You'll get updates on this, my future horoscopes, special promotions, classes, and more. So lots of love and gratitude from me to you. And until next time, see you then. If you enjoyed the episode, please take a second to rate and review. Each review helps us to find more heart-centered, forward-thinking folks just like you. Don't forget to take a screenshot, share it in your Instagram stories, and tag me at Taylor Schuler Astrology. If you're interested in an astrology consultation with me, you can book online at my website, taylorshuler.com. If you like my digs and you're looking for short-term furnished rentals because you're a digital nomad like me or just because, 
Don't forget to use the link in the show notes or code Taylor underscore C6I at hellolanding.com for $250 off your rental. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>